I am Chris Van Plettenberg. I'm the president of EATA since um, uh, September of 2015. Um, I am an organizational uh, consultant. I work a lot with um, not-for-profit organizations, in, uh, mainly in the Netherlands, where I lived for a long time. I moved to Berlin um, a couple of months ago and am now experiencing um, the expat life and crossing boundaries within Europe. Uh, so, yeah. Tell me a bit about, about EATA and where EATA is now. So EATA was founded 40 years ago, although some people will say we are a little bit older because talks about having a European association started before, before that. 40 years ago we got registered in Switzerland and um, we are um, one of the you know, early TA associations that work internationally. Um, we are an umbrella organization. It means that actually we don't have direct members. We represent uh, members from all over Europe. So national associations affiliate with EATA and then um, you know, their members are um, able to use the services of EATA. So we have um, 34 associations from almost 30 countries in Europe um, in EATA and in total we have about seven and a half thousand members that we represent because EATA doesn't have direct membership. Um, and as an organization um, we want to promote um, TA in Europe. Uh, and for that we have different activities, so we organize summer schools, uh, we have outreach programs where we go to countries and support associations that have a development question, and we organize conferences. Um, today we are in Geneva where we celebrate the 40th anniversary, but we also have a conference on um, identity integration and boundaries. So at the moment we have a conference almost every year. Um, we will have um, a research conference in 2018 that's very much just about research, which I think is also great. It's the second point, well, actually ex equo, the first point in our statutes, promote TA and make sure that the research is, um, um, is on TA. Um, so we'll have re research conferences, we have conferences like, like here in Geneva, which is an EATA conference, and we have a great cooperation with ITAA and FTAA and local uh, associations to do world conferences. What I think makes EATA great is that um, during conferences or exams that we also organize or you know, all these different activities that we do, you actually see a very international group come together, understanding each other's identity and each, other, each other's boundaries. But because of our common language, we, we, we work together during these times. And um, I'm going to repeat myself, a lot of people have heard me say this, but one of the things I most enjoy is when we come back together for either a council meeting or a conference. It's this, this evening before the event starts where people start to come into the hotel and it's this you know, enormous, like, oh, I'm great to see you again uh, thing. Um, so um, you really can feel there how, how we are a collective, mm. um, how we are a community. That's a real asset, I think, of Eata. Yes, yeah. yeah. And what have been the things that you've been focusing on in your, it, this has been your first year of being the president. Yeah. What, have, what have been the focuses for you? So my focus for for my whole term would be to make, uh, to maintain and make EATA um, attractive, active and accessible. I think inclusivity in, in, in this day and age is one of the things that we really need to um, safeguard and protect. Um, if we say that I'm okay, you're okay, um, then um, accessibility is one of the, you know, main principles for me. As an association we don't have a reason to exist if we're not active and attractive. There needs to be a reason why you 
want to become affiliated to the umbrella organization. These are the things that I want to work on with associ national associations and special interest groups uh, in EATA. Um, I also would like to move us more you know, into a visible place for the outside world. I think, for example, this conference or conferences in general are a great tool to show also people outside of the TA world what, what we can do in, in, you know, in all the fields, you know, educational, organizational, counseling, psychotherapy. Um, so that's my, my, my thing for the whole term, where I think, you know, really go outside, be accessible, um, attractive and active. In our organization, um, we also need to work on our internal structure and internal uh, procedures and how we work. So the internal focus is on getting um, clarity on um, how do we function as an, as an organization um, and what is the role between, um, you know, what is the role of EATA for the national associations. Um, because we're such a large organization, we work with the council. Countries can send a delegate to EATA and they represent their country. Um, but this is, you know, this is a thing to think about. What, what is the relationship between council, delegate and national association and members in that country? Um, and what we see at the moment in Europe is that um, maybe we Maybe we think that we'd like to do it ourselves again, you know, go back to um, our own country or our own borders and do things um, within and not in cooperation. So this will be something that is very important for, you know, for the next 12 months to see, okay, how, how do we stay this collective? How do we, um, how do we, how do we contribute to each other and, and profit from being an international uh, organization? Yes, obviously there's a particular uh, political situation going on mm. in, in Europe and the world at the moment with all the migration and, the, mm. um, and refugees. And how do you see EALTA as, as contributing to that in, in some positive sense, I suppose? Well, we're not a political organization. Mm. Um, I think that with transactional analysis we can work on a, on a humanistic level um, supporting, I think, the supporting the okayness of people, um, developing the okayness of people, and it has two sides because um, this is not only about oh let's just have you know you know open boundaries and. Uh, because there's also something in about it's it's very okay and necessary to protect your 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 external boundaries too. Um, so I think that during this conference we we talk a lot about you know these issues about um, you know racial violence or or immigration refugees. Um, what I hope is that as TA people we. we bring back thoughts to our own communities where we live mm -hmm. and think about um, what do I need to, to protect my, my community and how can we be inclusive of people that are new or that are you know, coming into the place where I am. Um, I think it's okay to have boundaries and I think it's also okay to be inclusive where you can. So, yeah. Um, it's not a, I think it's not a political um, uh, statement if you say uh, that you can work on the development of, um, of a society and how, how you can live together um, and yeah, how you solve these, these issues that are going on at the moment. So we're here at the, the 40th anniversary mm. of ART at this conference in Geneva and how do you feel that, that, that the, the conference and the celebrations have gone? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with um, how this conference um, was. I think the celebration was great. We had balloons and a and you know birthday cake and you know welcome drinks. Um, we had a good gala dinner with um, a quiz about um, 40 years of history. 
We had a wonderful, by the way, I thought it was super, a wonderful presentation of all the past presidents mm. um, uh, of EATA, um, which is good because it reminds us of you know, where we come from. Um, so I was really happy with the celebration uh, part. Um, yeah. It's also good to celebrate things. Yes. Um, and I think the conference was really a, a good success because we, um, when we chose this place two years ago and this topic for the conference, we wouldn't, you know, we couldn't know how actual the topic would be, unfortunately. Mm. But what I have heard from other people and what I saw is how how we really, you know, worked on identity integration and boundaries, and what we can do as TA people there. And um, I heard a lot of richness in, in all the workshops. Mm. I think we had a very good conference. Yes, uh, I agree. It's, mm. been a, it's been a lovely connection of people with a real set of shared core values. Yeah, mostly we should thank the organizing committee uh, for making this all happening. Yeah. I just want to all say that. Everyone. yeah, Because <laughs> it is quite a job to organize yes. such an such a international conference. Yeah. Next year the conference will be in Berlin. Um, and that one will be organized in cooperation with um, the German Association and the ITAA and FTAA. So I expect an even you know, more international crowd coming to this conference. And Berlin, for, for all its past and for all what it is present, is a, it's a very dynamic, very interesting city. So I think it's a great place to have a conference. Um, anyone um, who did not attend a TA conference in, let's say, the past five years or has never been to a conference, um, I really invite them to, to come to Berlin. Um, and just like you said, you know, just now, um, coming back together in the community or in the collective or coming in the collective for the first time is a warm bath. It's a really good experience. You really get the, um, you know, the the TA principles, uh, not just from like the theory or not just from your work as a practitioner or a psych you know, psychiatrist, psychologist or whatever, but you really share, um, you know, you speak about it, but it's also the unspoken uh, language going on at these conferences. And, and yeah, it's, I think that's really great. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Mm. Tell me, just before we finish, tell me a little bit about the future of, of AALTA and what your hopes are for where AALTA will go now. What I wish for AALTA in the future is that we maintain this strong international collective. Um, as I said earlier, we don't have direct members. It's associations that affiliate with AALTA. And, um, there is still room for new associations to affiliate. Um, and I wish that we, you know, get, that we can serve and, and support and have all these associations that want to promote TA um, in Europe, that um, want to work on the development of, uh, of TA, um, and that can think about, you know, the interest and purpose um, from within their own association, and also feel at home uh, working together in this in this group of associations that EATA is. Um, so, where where there's um, where where there's room or where there's uh, like an opportunity to have new associations affiliated, I really wish that we have that, and um, I think we can also support and contribute to each other's uh, associations maybe I could say we could contribute more to each other's associations. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And I'm aware that AATA is, 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 a, is a real team of volunteers, that a lot of people put a lot of energy into it, mm -hmm. a lot of commitment, and that those, those people are not paid. And I wonder what you see as the benefits for you of being a part of AATA and, and giving your time and energy to it. So, as a president, you um, you work a lot with the council and with all the delegates and um, uh, and with the general assembly, and that's just a lot of fun to do. For me, it's it's it gives me enormous amount of energy to work with all these people, um, and it's very learnful. I you know I I work with with a multinational, so as an organizational consultant and you know someone 
who who uses you know or organizational TA. Um, it's great to have this experience. Um, um, we have 40, peop 40 plus people in council that you work with during the year, and you come together once a year during the council meeting. You have all the committees with all their focuses, and you have to kind of like, um, you know, hold that together with each other, with the council. And that's, it's just a great experience to do. So um, the, the return on investment, if you want to call it that, you know, what I get back from the time um, I spent in, in this work is this great experience that is also a lot of fun to do. And um, I'm now speaking for myself, but I hope that other people in council and in EATA experience the same thing. Mm. All right, thank you very much. Mm. Thanks, Crispin. Thank you.